Hello everyone! So if you've been updating the news lately, you're gonna find out that Facebook is undergoing one of its hardest days right now. And believe it or not, it's got something to do with the aviation industry. So today we're gonna find out together how when one of the key players in the social media goes down, it also brings some airlines down with it, or most of the airlines down with it. So stay tuned. Alright, let's dig down to some non-aviation information. So Facebook has been one of the most popular social media apps in the world, as you know it. And not only airlines, but potentially every businesses, they all establish their own Facebook pages. And then they post advertisement, their products, their photos, and basically anything that makes them look interesting. That is how they promote their name brand. That reminds me of a childhood memory, but it's rather an embarrassing one. I didn't know what Singapore Airlines was until I was 8 years old. And how did I find out about one of the most famous airlines in the world? A sneak peek through my mom's Facebook account. You know, just an ideal example to see how that works really well. So, after that, Cambridge Analytical, uh, Analytica, uh, Analytic, what a name. Let's just call it Facebook scandal then. So after that Facebook scandal happened, the number of Facebook users has decreased dramatically. You know, to be honest, that is nothing comparing to the 1 billion user Facebook is currently having, but it does decrease. So what happened when there are less Facebook users? That means there are also less people who are paying attention to the airline's pages on Facebook. So suddenly one day airlines will discover that they have a bunch of virtual accounts who just happen to like and follow their pages but never actually catch up with the latest news of the airlines. So the whole crackdown happens on to all the Western Airlines March 21st and to all the Eastern Airlines March 23rd. Now don't ask me why there's such a two-day difference as a guy who invented time zone. So suddenly on that certain day, the airlines discover that they're having a lot of Virgil customers, aka losing real customers. And it is close to certainty that this will devalue the airlines. And of course, the stock will be involved big time here. So the ones that are most likely to see their D-Days in the aviation industry are, just in case not to let you misunderstand here, D-Days stand for down days, not doomsday because obviously it is still far from doomsday for these big companies like Wayne Enterprises or Stark Industries, except they got nothing to do with the aviation industry. But you get what I mean. And those are airlines. Yes, Airlines is the first key chain to be directly influenced by this Facebook scandal thing, as we all are free to call it. If you go to the internet and search it up right now, you're gonna see some of the big Western Airlines like American Airlines or United Airlines, which is notoriously famous for Fly the Friendly Skies, all have their doomsday, oh sorry, D-Days coming on March 21st. And two days later, in the time zone perspective, all same happened to the big Eastern Airlines like Singapore Airlines or Eva Air. And I here don't think it's a coincidence at all. Alright, here's the analogy. Most of you must have been noticed by now that Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, has made an exclusive interview with CNN about this Facebook scandal thing. Comparing, Comparing the, time the time when, when the, interview the interview happens, happens. And, and when, when the airplane, airplane stock price, price slumped, slumped. slumped. Then you'll, then you'll see the correlation, see the correlation there. There, there, there. So, in the end, most of you must have laughed at me for trying to link the social media industry and the aviation industry together. But in my perspective, those two industries have already been closely interconnected to each other before. And as one goes down, it somehow pulls the other one down with it. So guys, if you like my video, be sure to like and subscribe on my channel. And if you have any questions, then be sure to leave your comments below. I cherish and appreciate every one single comment, so be sure to do it. Again, guys, thanks. I'll try to upload a video every week, but you know, I'm a student, so that is hard to be possible, but nothing is impossible, right? So, hope to see you guys again. See ya!